about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really hello friends and enemies welcome back to happy for now it's me isabel here with my manga haul since i haven't hauled since april um and i've got about 50 volumes to haul so we're gonna just go through by by publisher um so we're gonna do this first because i have the most from biz and then i'll do the other publishers uh yeah i've got a lot of manga I will tell you what I can about the ones I've read and if there are any you want to see a first impression of let me know I'm happy to do that um yeah that's it all right let's get right into this because this is a lot of manga I feel like I need to start with the series I bought the most of um and I will say this has been over the course of like three plus months and this is also like partially a product of the books a million sale but um I got all of shortcake cake I have volumes one through 12 now um here is volume oh my gosh i'm gonna drop them all all right hold on there we go here's volume one um but yeah i ended up reading volume one i loved it this is about a girl who ends up moving to a boarding house closer to her high school so she doesn't have to commute an hour plus every day and this is by the same mangaka as um a sign of affection which i'm really really liking so i just kind of ended up picking them all up also anyways I was just like these are gonna look so cute on my shelf because of those strawberries on the spine so yeah I have 12 volumes of shortcake cake and I've only read one I promise I am going to read more of them very soon though. oh my gosh okay next we have spy x family volumes four and five so I ended up picking these up because I really enjoyed volumes one and two and I still need to read like Three through five three through five but i'm really really enjoying this series it follows a family uh, a fake family <laughs> that a spy has put together uh and they all have secrets so there's like anya the daughter who is a telepath and then the mom is secretly a like assassin and obviously the dad's secretly a spy this has been such a blast to read they're so fun and i love these covers i love the solid backgrounds with like one character um and they've got like that fun like 60s retro feel so loving this i also picked up volumes two and three oh no that's backwards and three of the water dragon's bride because i really am enjoying the king's beast by ray toma and i've read some of this back in the day when i was reading manga and i was younger um but i decided since i had volume one i wanted to pick up two more so i could start reading through the series and make my determination if i'm collecting it or not my right stuff order of a bunch of out of stock items finally came so i did finally get requiem of a rose king volume two which means i now have volumes one through three and can actually start this series i'm very excited about this i don't know a ton about it i know a lot of people love it and that means i can't wait to read it next we of course have yona of the dawn volume 30 surprising no one this is in my like regular subscription list i pick these up every time they come out and whew, i love volume 30 so so much uh, I'm ready for August when we get the next volume. I think it's August. Then we have volume two of The King's Beast. So I read volume one, loved it, immediately had to pick up volume two, and I'm not sad I did at all. I am really, really loving this series. Then we have Yakuza Lover, volume one, which I, of course, had to pick out as soon as I heard it was smutty. And I absolutely adore this as well. I'm very excited for volume two to drop and to have that in my hands. I love the art in this one personally and I love the storytelling happening. It's definitely not like the dirtiest thing I've ever read, um, but it's just been super adorable. We got three more of his titles. <laughs> so next we have Blue Flag Volume 8, the finale to what is definitely going to be on my favorite mangas I've read this year slash favorite completed mangas of 2021 list. I don't know. It's going to be on a lot of lists. I love this story. If you haven't read it yet, it is complete. I cannot recommend it enough. It is so stinking good. It follows a group of four friends and their relationships and self-discovery and identity. Um, it has LGBTQ themes and it, I love it. Blew my socks off. Absolutely love it. Then I also picked up, uh, because of the buy two get one sale, Zom 100, uh, volume one and two. Um, I have not read these yet. I think I'm thinking about doing a first impressions on this. I'm again, I'm still exploring a lot of subgenres, not subgenres, um, a lot of the manga genres, figuring out what I like and don't like. I can read like Blood on the Tracks style body horror slash thriller, but I don't think I can read Junji Ito. 
I think he would be too scary for me and I thought this it just looked like a fun time um I like interesting slash weird uh zombie stories so I just think this sounds interesting that like the zombie apocalypse hits and he's like um like he just like stumbles upon the zombie apocalypse happening it sounds like I just think it sounds interesting like I said don't know a lot about it but I'm definitely going to read it very very soon we're gonna do seven C's next so I've only got a couple things from them first I did pick up volume two and three of the ancient magus bride I've watched about half of this anime and I already own volume one and I really want to read this series so I know that um to prioritize it I needed to pick up two more volumes because I tend to gravitate towards my series that I have a couple volumes of to read because if I like it I'm already like there um and I don't have to like run to the store and get more but I'm really really excited to read this uh I really want to finish the anime as well and then start diving into the side stories I love I love our ancient magus guy I don't know if you're not new here you know I got a thing for monsters <laughs> so you know just just in love with a weird monster witch man uh, then we have Thigh High, Volume 1, <laughs> one of the wackiest mangas I've read this year, and I do also have a thing for wacky mangas. So this follows a group of boys at a high school where they all wear skirts and the girls' uniform along with panties and bras. If the cover appeals to you, you will probably enjoy this manga. If the cover is like, no, don't bother. It's not going to be for you. Next we have Bite Maker Volume 1. This is an Omegaverse manga. One of two that I'm aware of. And I really enjoyed this for Volume 1. I'm very curious to see what happens when we get to Volume 2. Um, you know, this is just kind of a really light setup for the story, to be honest. So, no strong feelings yet, but I'm definitely excited for more. Next we have Our Teachers Are Dating. So I got Volumes 1, 2, and 3 of this series. I just love this one this is so cute so this is a yuri manga um about two teachers that are dating and i can't resist lesbians um we know i love sapphic things here it is just one of my favorite things and i just love the cover like they look so cute my friend shay read these and she said it was really cute so i knew she said it had sweat and soap vibes but sapphic so i was like sign me up and I bought all three. Okay, let's do Yen Press next. I don't have a ton from them. Volume one of Mint Chocolate, which I have read. I give this four stars. I really, really liked it. And I'm going to read volume two probably the day I'm filming this. Here's volume two. These are two kids that had crushes on each other in high school already. And then their parents ended up getting married. And it's just kind of tension city. And I'm really enjoying it. I also am slowly working on building my Fruits Basket Collector's Edition set. So I did pick up volume three and four uh, during the Books A Million sale. I do actually need to read these and I do plan to do a first impressions because I don't, I think I read Fruits Basket when I was younger. I know I watched the old, the old anime. So I want to read the manga and watch the new anime slash finish the new anime. I've already started it, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, I love this series, so I can't wait to actually like continue it. All right, let's talk about some Kodansha titles that I got. I have Witch Hat Atelier, oh, that is backwards. Witch Hat Atelier, volume one, volume two. No, that's volume three and volume two. I did these in the wrong order. Um, I am gonna do a first impressions of volume one and possibly the next two I might read for that video. Uh, I already read this, I really, really liked it. I love the art in this, it is stunning. And it's definitely a series I see myself picking up more of sooner than later. Next, we have another one that I read when I was younger and watched when I was younger, Chobit, Volume 1, The Collector's Edition. I'm going to slowly be picking these up and reading them. I didn't want to buy all of them just in case I hate it, <laughs> but I recall loving this anime when I was younger. I'm very curious to see what I think now <laughs> as an adult, uh, but I love these Collector's Editions. I think they're stunning, um, and I love that they're doing them for a lot of the old clamp titles, so I need to get card Cardcaptor Sakura ones too, but yeah. I am very curious to see what I think of this. Then, as we mentioned, Shortcake Cake by the same manga cut, we have A Sign of Affection, Volume 2, which I do still need to read. I loved Volume 1. This follows a girl who is deaf at a, her college, and this boy who, like, she has a crush on, and they, like, communicate with each other, and it's just adorable. If you if you hear whining, that's, that's Angus downstairs, but we're going to keep going because we have Sweat and Soap, Volume 6. This was another amazing volume i adore this series so much and i um honestly 
just can't wait for the next one. Then we have the last two from Kodansha, which is those not so sweet boys, volume two and three. Oh no, hold on. Volume two and three. I really, really love this series. I love the twist we got in this one. It was such a fun ride. I cannot wait for the next volume. Okay, we have three more physical manga. Well, four more physical manga. So I don't, I, I forgot. Um, I forgot this one downstairs. I'm not gonna go get it, but I have volumes four and six of Blood on the Tracks and I'm very excited to continue it. And I will be reading um, all of these like ASAP. Like I think I stopped on volume three and I can't wait to blow through the series because this is my kind of thriller psychological situation. I also got the FLCL Omnibus. So this was an anime I loved back in the day um, and I can't wait to read the manga of it. I also got Pleasure and Corruption Volume 1. I don't know if I hauled this or not because I had it on back order from Right Stuff and it finally came in. All right, and then the last few uh, digital mangas that I haven't hauled yet. So I have And Yet You Are So Sweet Volume 1. I got an arc of this. I still haven't read it. I really need to. It looks like a really cute shoujo. Uh, I have the Honey Blood Beauty and Her Vampire, which I gave three stars. I think I'm going to pick up Volume 2 of this, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm just... I don't know. It was really weird, but I'm like also intrigued. And then we have volumes one through three of Nina, the Starry Bride, which is a mistaken identity situation. She is uh, forced into a role of pretending to be this princess that's gone. And it turns out there's someone else pretending to be a prince. And they're like kind of falling in love and figuring out how she can navigate this whole situation. And it's this wonderful fantasy setting and I'm living for it. So <laughs> that is all of the manga I bought in like the last three or four months um probably my last haul for a little bit we'll see but let me know in the comments uh before you go if there's any you want a first impression of or reviews on and then also if you don't want to do that you can leave me a strawberry emoji if you made it this far you can find links to be my friend anywhere on the internet in that description box as well as links to all of the books i just talked about and i will see y'all in just a few days bye about to see the world in action what we can be Life with no distractions <laughs>